All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the welterweights and specifically an option that has just popped up for Errol Spence Jr. against one of the greatest fighters of all time. And Terrence Crawford, according to Manny Pacman Pacquiao, who will be fighting tonight or today sometime if he's not already done it in an exhibition that I'm not paying for. However, man, you got to get his dude a lot of credit. Let's talk about it in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we are going to be talking about a big option that has just popped up for Errol Spence Jr. that he very well may be smart to take. And honestly, I think that he deserves and I would not mind seeing at all. And that is Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, the man that he was supposed to fight last November, a year ago, a month, a month, a year and a month ago in Dallas Stadium, which I do believe that was in Dallas, might have been Vegas. Please forgive me if I'm incorrect. However, big fight that was supposed to take place where where uh, Errol Spence Jr. had torn his retina and was not able to get that big marquee fight for himself. A uh, very unfortunate situation. But Manny Pac-Man just, Pacquiao just gave an interview and said after this exhibition fight that he's having over there in Japan that he wants to fight either Errol Spence Jr. or Terrence Crawford. And I'm going to talk about it in, a, in, a, a, in several different ways. One, from Errol's point of view, and one from uh, Manny Pacquiao's uh, point of view and from the boxing fan and from a boxing fan's uh, point of view and what it would mean and why I think it's a fair and decent thing to do. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you so much for your continued support to the channel. It really, really does uh, mean it really, really does mean a lot. And uh, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button uh, and so you can support the channel that way it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, now, let's get into this, man. Manny Pacquiao says after this exhibition that he wants to fight. Uh, he's willing to fight Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence Jr. at 147 pounds for those belts. Now, there are some people that were asking him about Floyd Mayweather Jr. And he said, look, man, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is never going to fight me. It's not going to happen. He doesn't want to lose. And quite honestly, that is um, I don't know how off that is. Because because Floyd Mayweather Jr. in an either even in an exhibition, man, that's going to be a serious fight with with Manny Pacquiao at the stage that arrows that um, that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is in and the stage of life that uh, Manny Pacquiao are in. They're both probably physically still physically fit. Um, but it's you know, that's not fighting. Uh, let me put it this way. Manny Pacquiao has been in the ring against a legitimate world championship, uh, world championship level fighters as little as a year ago. And it has been many years since Floyd Mayweather Jr. has done that. And, you know, if there's ever a scenario to catch the great Floyd Mayweather slipping, it would be in that one. So more than likely not going to happen. Now, as far as the Errol Spence Jr. fight, let me tell you from Manny's point of Manny Pac, in my opinion about Manny Pacquiao, man, dude, Manny Pacquiao is a hardcore dude. And really, uh, he could have actually been blessed in his career with those early losses because he doesn't have any, he's one of the great fighters that have been around this century. One of the few that really Roy Jones Jr. too, Roy Jones Jr. too, that really just didn't obviously did not care and have the end of their career hung up on whether or not they had lost earlier in it. Um, now, Roy, obviously, you know, had really went to the peak and then, you know, got knocked out bad sometimes. But Manny Pacquiao, that he has got knocked out bad a few times. However, he still he got back even after that, got a major championship belt by beating Keith Thurman. 
Right. Definitely um, uh, got and shoot. He got a couple championships back after he lost to uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. But just a dude, man, that is really willing to get in the ring and, and fight and and test himself against the best man. And if he wants to do that against Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence, hey, man, I shoot. I applaud the dude, man. You know what I mean? For being able to, you know, doing that. Now, it may not be the greatest thing in the world from the perspective of somebody, say, like Jerron Ennis, who's weight, who is, you know, primed and ready to go looking for his opportunity but from Manny Pacquiao's standpoint man look if you can like they say about Terrence Crawford they say about whatever Canelo and anybody else that wants to just make that money hey man if you can do it at that age and get those shots at that age which he can no problem with it for me now from Errol Spence Jr.'s point of view I would also say, man, that this probably could be a little bit of a saving grace to him if that was the case, even though I don't think he wants to wait that long. Right. Because, you know, who knows how long that would be that for another four or five months. But number one, that was a fight he had a year ago. Uh, and Manny Pacquiao is a year older and, and definitely can mean a lot a year passing in time. But that was Errol Spence Jr.'s chance to really get in there with a legendary name, get himself a nice little highlight by mopping up on a legendary fighter, because that's more than likely what's going to happen. And there's a whole bunch of fighters throughout history that have gotten those opportunities in their career. Oscar De La Hoya being one that comes to my mind, you know, for sure, because he got hold of he was able to get Julio Cesar Chavez uh Senior after it was over, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, excuse me, Can, uh, Canelo Alvarez had a bunch of them, right? From Miguel Cotto to Shane Mosley, had a bunch of older fighters when he was young. When he was young, that allowed him to get, you know, to get you know, more people to watch him because Manny Pacquiao is a big name and there'll be a lot of people that would still be able to think that Manny Pacquiao could beat Errol Spence. Also, very nice payday. Also, a you know, a good stay busy fight, man. It's a, It'll be a little bit of a chess match. Why it lasts with Manny Pacquiao? But, you know, now from Terrence Crawford's standpoint, no, I would say no to that because you just had David Avenation, man. You need to go ahead and keep your word and you've had plenty of fights He's had plenty of fights against guys like Amir Khan and, and guys like that. So I'm sorry, man. I don't want to see that. But anyway, if he took the fight, he took the fight and we would see it. I would probably watch it anyway. I'm still upset with him about that Darren Crawford fight, about the Aerosmith Jr. fight. But whatever the case is, man, um, I'll be OK with it. If it's a good spectacle, you know, Errol Spence Jr. himself said, you know, he really doesn't want to fight Keith Thurman. I would obviously prefer the Keith Thurman fight because I think that Keith Thurman is still a better fighter, you know, a fresher fighter at this stage in his career than Manny Pacquiao is. But people that are detractors may say, yeah, man, but Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman. So if Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman, then Manny Pacquiao should be as good a fight for Errol Spence Jr. as as Keith Thurman is. And I mean, there's an ar there's an argument to that. Uh, there is an argument to that. But again, like I said, man, I dedicated this video to Blacksmith Ross, <laughs> who's a big Keith Thurman fan. So I'd like to see him get in there with Keith Thurman, man. I, and I think the Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao fight was a very, very close fight where if Manny, pa if Manny Pacquiao had not knocked down Keith Thurman, shoot, Keith Thurman may have been able to pull that fight out. But at the end of the day, man, I'll take any interesting fights in 2023 that I can get. I would prefer the Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight. But honestly, I would prefer for Errol to get in a fight in between those two. So he didn't he's not the one that set out an entire year before fighting before fighting Terrence Crawford while Terrence Crawford gets in this little, you know, easy money payday that he got going on with David Evansi and uh, Avenation, excuse me, this weekend. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.